Hello, in this video I'll be introducing the principle of superposition of waves. You'll see in this diagram here that we have two waves. A red wave with a large amplitude and quite a large wavelength, and an orange wave with a smaller amplitude and a shorter wavelength. The principle of superposition of waves states that when two waves meet at a point, the resultant displacement is the algebraic sum, that is, sum that includes the sign, positive or negative, of the individual displacements. Let me demonstrate that with these waves. So let's begin with time zero, which is this point here, and you'll see at this point that both the red wave and the orange wave have a displacement of zero, so therefore our resultant point will be here. Let's move one second along and we'll see that the orange wave has a displacement of around 0 0.6 and the red wave has a slightly larger displacement around about 0 0.7. We could add these together and that will give us a displacement of 1.3 on our resultant wave. Let's move one second along again and you'll see here that the red wave has a displacement of 1 and the orange wave has a displacement of 0. So therefore at this point, two seconds along, we have a resultant of 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. Move one more second along and we'll get a red wave here that has a displacement of 0 0.7. The orange wave has displacements of minus 0 0.6. So we must sum these algebraically. 0 0.7 minus 0 0.6 and that will give us a displacement of 0 0.1 is why this point here is right down here. Moving along again, the next point you'll see that both the waves are crossing the axis at the same time here, so they're both zero, so therefore the resultant point here is also zero. And we can continue this same exercise all the way along the wave and it will give us our resultant wave 